in this video let's talk about the algorithm for first derivative test that means we know what is first derivative test if we have to find out to a question what is the local maximum value or the local minimum value how would we do that using the first derivative test so it is basically a step by step procedure which we have to remember and in the next video we'll be seeing the first numerical problem wherein we'll be applying the procedure so the first step would be what the first step would be that whatever function is given to you you have to assume it as it is y is equal to f of x right after you have assumed that y is equal to f of x for that function then you have to find out since the derivative is the first derivative then you have to find out dy by dx which is what the first derivative right after finding out the differentiation of y with respect to x the next step would be you have to simply put dy by dx is equal to 0 you have to substitute dy by dx is equal to 0 now if while putting dy by dx is equal to 0 you come to know about certain facts that means suppose i have the differentiation as x square minus say 25 that has come out to be my dy by dx that is a very much a uh, weighing example we are just taking one example the step is to find out dy by dx and put it equal to 0 so you have found out now you have to put it equal to 0 and then you'll be getting certain values so that is what we are talking about so the algorithm goes as follows that you have to find out dy by dx then you have to put it equal to 0 after you have done it you'll be getting or you'll be obtaining some values right you'll be getting some values or some points which are called as stationary points what are they called as stationary points or some people also say them as critical points they may be say c1 c2 c3 and so on depending upon the degree of dy by dx that you have obtained after you have got these stationary or critical points these points are very important because they may lead to it is not that all of them will give you maximum or minima some of them may lead to maxima and even some of them may lead to minima right so it is very important that you do not say that okay these are the three points that we have obtained the simple solution is given to us no you have to then move forward with checking whether out of these all three or say six or say five of the stationary points or the critical points which one gives you the maximum or minima so for that checking purpose to check whether which one has been giving me maxima or minima next you move forward next what you will be doing is you will be actually moving on to the stage wherein you have to check that whether my dy by dx or my f dash x changes sign from positive to negative remember we did it in first derivative test previous video so if my f dash x changes sign from positive to negative as you move forward in the positive direction of the x axis then i say that it is leading to maxima right if the second case my f dash x changes sign from negative to positive on putting the value whatever value is there that c1 c2 c3 these all values then it leads to minima but if not positive to negative not negative to positive that means there is no change as you move forward in the positive direction of the x axis while dealing with these critical points or stationary points then we say that it is the point of point pt is written for short it is p o i n t point of inflection which does not give me maxima which does not give me minima don't get confused the main idea is of the first derivative test finding dy by dx putting it equal to 0 getting some values checking whether those values give you maxima or minima